welcome to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be getting into a turn based monster summoning style game. And this is going to be the pilot episode. We're playing Thaumaturge. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so Thaumaturge is a game that is interesting. It's really a turn-based game, but has a lot of story elements in it set in the old world uh, Russia, Siberia, countryside area in the mountains. So, um, giving this a go, I've seen plenty of people play this, but I was curious. So let's give it a try. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle, but such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. All right, so already I can tell the graphics are really good. It's a little strange. I'm not sure why he sees ghosts or dead people, but I'm sure being that uh, this is a story-based game, we'll probably get the, the details as far as what he's exactly seeing and why there are spirits following him around. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulsky. 
S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Alright, so the year is 1905, thus the old style buildings, clothing, kind of reminds me like the old west style with the postmaster and the telegrams and how they got messages around the train tracks so were obviously in the steam power era. Um, don't see any electricity. Oh, no, there is some electricity. I see some old lamps posted on the wall. Lots of reading in this game off the bat, I could tell. Um, so there's a lot of things you're probably going to have to go around, search the room, look for clues uh, before you move on. Uh, at least they have some nice symbols and stuff to give you an idea where to look. So perception is something that a skill that we use, I guess, to see who we need to talk to or where we need to search because it looks like the people glow red. Or at least there's a red arrow that tells you which way to run and what to look at. Got quite a few menus here. You got your uh, inventory. You got some kind of skill tree, it looks like. Uh, upgrades. Your character there. He doesn't look as bad as he does now. It looks kind of sick. Um... Okay, so we're at the old railroad station for a small town, so lots of chatter in the background. Kind of reminds me of Diablo, um, really, like old school Diablo, you know, with as far as how the town is set up and people are having conversations that you can see the text floating over their head, but other people's you can actually stop and talk to. So this must be like Tristram without, without the railroad track, you know, obviously. So we're just going to kind of walk around. It's trying to get us to practice using our perception. So anyone with the red exclamation points is who we have to talk to. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well... If you've got reason to be there, climb in. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. 
Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Is your Nami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Alright, so we got some bullies here trying to take his boots. And we jump right into how to fight. So it's definitely a turn-based style game, unlike some of the other games I'm more used to that are a little bit more fluid. So I strike, they strike, and it looks like you have an option. Option one or two, quick attack, planned attack. Okay, little animation, damage meter, minus two, my health's at the bottom, I got 40 points. Wow, that guy was weak. One punch and he was down. Okay, so the knife slice took four away from me. Action cue. Okay, so the perception allows you to see what's coming, basically, uh, what they're planning on doing to you. So that's useful. I suspect that all these tutorial menus will go away once I actually get into playing the game, but obviously just to start off, it's just going to be a lot of information you got to read and kind of understand. All right, my turn. Quick attack or, or the uh, planned attack. Slow, but it inflicts a lot of damage. He only has 15 health. I have 34. So. Let's go ahead with the planned attack. It looks like that's going to take more damage. 11 to 14 points. Quick attack, 5 to 6 points. Okay, we'll do a quick one. Oh, so the quick only took 5 points. All right. Oh, well, we get to hit him twice. So that works out well. So up to 12 points, but let's try this one. Slow skill. Well, he only has 10 points left. Ow. And good night. All right, so at least you don't kill these guys. You just kind of knock them out with some hard body blows and, and punches. Kiss right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Ooh. So this is ancient Russia town time. There's a czar. This is before the Bolshevik Re Revolution with Lenin and all those other folks. So um. Obviously, there's some corruption going on here. Um, so, um, soldiers that are probably not paid enough or fed enough starting to steal from the townsfolk. So, that's something to watch out for. Okay, so I got a skill point that I can apply to my Thalmaturgy, which I guess is how I summon a different ghost or spirits to fight for me. So now I'll just have to keep using my perception to get an idea of where I need to go. So a couple uh, symbols on the ground. There's a pet Good here. Boy. Nothing really much to do with him. Really like the details on how the buildings look. They're falling apart. This is my current belongings. I do have a pistol. Hmm. Okay. Really uh, nice leather fur lined coat. So obviously this guy's an aristocrat, comes from some money. And here's where I'm currently at. That location is locked, but it looks like the diamonds with the moon shape is like little entrances to the different uh, houses or places I have to go to talk to. Lots of information here. So if you are not into reading quite a bit, you might fall asleep on this game, but I like it so far. Uh, graphics are great. All right, new room. So let's canvas the area. Talk, see who's willing to talk to us. See if there's any clues. So it looks like we got to go talk to that guy over there. We got a couple things we can read. Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome Bonaparte. Okay. Some news from Yerevan, wherever that is. And who is this person? Some kind of faith healer. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Is it the Rasputin? 
Indeed it is. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for oh you. Oh my for god. A very long my time, character right? looks so bad. And you expected his thinking simple. Why does he have eyeliner? To swindle sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. Or I think that's just how Rasputin looked from his old pictures. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe hmm. in? Oh, cool. So they give you options on what to answer. In my condition now, I can only hope for a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Hmm. I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path. I've already come across people who have lied to me about their problems and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived with pitchforks and torches and I had to endure insults and spit in my face or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Okay, so after that long conversation, obviously your character is not happy that he's a thaumaturge um, and wants the spirits that are haunting him to go away. So it looks like he's turning to Rasputin to see if he can give him some help. Rasputin is now sending you on a wild goose chase to find his prayer beads somewhere in this end. So we're going to be using our perception skill over and over until we can get enough clues to figure out where the beads are. Interesting how there's some like floating red dust in the air. Ah, okay, so you Who enter the floating red dust and you get a clue. Passion within him. Draw a conclusion. Okay, next, more red dust over there by the people. So we will go over there and talk to them. Nothing over here. So is he like just snapping his fingers? That's pretty cool at all. All right, there is a symbol by the fireplace. I already talked to, looked at the one that said word one. Let's take a look at here, mind one. Okay. Any other places to look? Mm, the 
doesn't look like it. Yep. Sorry, lady. Back in the kitchen area. And yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So we'll have to go back and talk to Rasputin. Yep, nothing else. All right, now what? What do you need from us, sir? What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild saluter, and that ended with me losing contact with my first saluter. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind, I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Well, where am I? Hmm, interesting. Rasputin. There's no one in here. Okay, so you're in some kind of alternate reality. You're still in the inn, but there's quite a bit of floating space around you. So, and there's a spirit that kind of keeps floating near you. I need to get out of here. So, we'll just follow the path on out of here. It looks pretty straightforward. Follow the red lanterns, follow the floating spirit. What is this sound? The guy with the cane Jackals. and the broad shoulders. Yeah, it looks like a scarecrow almost. Hmm. Now what? You're blind. Hmm. Who was this? You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. Oh, that's his father? You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. I wonder if his father is you a thaumaturge see, as can well. You at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. And he's gone. So that's what seems to be haunting him. Interesting. And now he's hearing monsters. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? Interesting. A boss fight. I can see, Father. Clearly. And 
along with this we're gonna go ahead and put a bookmark in the video come back in the next one fight the monster that just appeared and see what we get as a reward so as usual i'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos please remember to leave a like comment and subscribe because it really helps out the channel and we will see you in the next video